That's what we got. Back to you. Okay, Aaron, thank you. Closing the gap. That is the goal for one man currently biking across the country in order to raise awareness about the underserved aspects of senior care. Jeff Salter is the CEO of Caring Senior Service, which provides in-home medical care to seniors. He began his 9,000-mile journey last month with a goal of visiting all 45 locations of the company. Right now, Jeff is making his way through the region, and he joins us live from Northwest D.C. Uh, Jeff, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Really appreciate being on this morning. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Jeff, we, we mentioned briefly why you're doing this. I want you to touch on that, but especially why you felt this 9,000-mile trek across the country was the way to do it. You, you're leaving, you know, your, your two boys, two kids, and your wife behind to do this. Yeah, I, I really wanted to find a way that I could help uh, with the next 30 years. I started off as a desi desire to celebrate 30 years of founding my company to help seniors remain at home and independent in their in their environment to avoid relocation. I thought this would be a great way to look at the next 30 years and to uh, really close the gap in senior care, focusing on visiting my 45 locations across the U.S. and I thought I'd do it on an electric bicycle and uh, see if uh, I could raise additional awareness about uh, the needs of seniors in our communities. Let's talk about that because obviously you felt this there was an urgency to it, right? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So, so what is the problem? What are the challenges? Well, in every community, it's it's going to be a little different. But in general, there's a, a real caregiver shortage in America right now. We America's seniors want to remain at home. All of our studies show that that's something that is important for seniors. And we need more caregivers in America to help care for the seniors that, that want to remain at home and avoid that relocation to a nursing home or assisted living. And uh, there's there's technology gaps that exist that people, uh, we all we all use technology every day, but there's a lot of things that seniors could benefit from. And I hope that you know, some some individuals involved in technology will turn their attention more towards seniors, and we need more business owners doing uh, senior-related type of business work. So, one, I really hope that those are those are three general ones. One of the solutions you've talked about is grab the bars. What exactly is that, and how does that help? Yeah. You know, uh, falls are a leading cause of injury-related death among seniors, and 80% of all falls happen in the bathroom. So we thought during this during this ride that we'd raise money for grab bars to install grab bars in seniors' homes, and we're trying to raise $100,000 uh, to install as many grab bars as we can in those seniors' homes and prevent those falls from happening where we can. Uh, really quickly, how was your reception when you first came to uh, Virginia? Oh, it's been fantastic. I had a actual fire crew uh, do a, 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 a salute, kind of, if you will, to, to me with th three fire trucks and a uh, whole crew out there. Really, it, it, was, it was great. It's been fantastic. I got a lot of events planned, and it's been great. That's great to hear. Where are you headed to next? I'm headed up towards Philadelphia next, a uh, number stops in New Jersey before I start heading out west and uh, head all the way to California when I'm, when I'm done to the west coast and back to San Antonio. And that, that'll be the end of August. Uh, Jeff Salter, I appreciate you talking to me. You've got quite the bike there. Uh, it seems like the best uh, bike to maybe uh, uh, use for this, for this journey. 9,000 miles. Appreciate you raising awareness about this and also speaking to us this morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, how about that, Steve? 9,000 miles, wow. four months. I'm just thinking about the leg pain immediately. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good for him in so many different ways.